Hey, we're going to use SketchUp here to bring in a landscape design, scale that landscape design, and then get area and volume estimates for different elements of that design. That's going to be useful for you to uh, be able to give to come up with estimates for amounts of material that you might need, like mulch or sand, or if there's areas that need to be excavated, to give you an idea of what uh, what these volumes are. So first thing we're going to do is we have to bring in the image uh, of the the digital image of the landscape design that can be a scanned image or it can be an image that has been exported from a design program so first thing we're going to do here is we're going to go to file import then we're going to find navigate to the image or the digital file of the landscape design that you want to bring in so this is the design we're going to bring in. We can see a little preview of that there. This is for Castle Park. Now, when you first import it, it's going to ask you, the program's going to ask you where you want to attach uh, that image. Let's just, just go ahead and attach it right here at the image, at the origin, right there. So there's one click, one left click there. And then now, it's going to ask you to pick uh, a size or another image it's kind of arbitrary just go ahead and pick a random place now now our image is in SketchUp it's been successfully imported into SketchUp now we need to give a um, we need to scale this image and luckily we have down here we have a scale bar on this plan and so on somewhere on your plan you're going to need to know know a dimension of an actual dimension of the plan. So if, if there's a graphic scale uh, on your plan, that's great. Uh, you can use that, and that's what we're going to do. So with this image selected, you can see that it's outlined in blue. That means it's selected. So let's zoom in here to our scale bar. We're going to go over here to the tape measure tool. And wherever you see that purple dot, that's where your tape measure tool is measuring from. Okay, so let's click on the zero part of the scale bar and then bring your measure tool over here to the 40 part. Now that's now the way that we imported and designed and, and brought in this image, uh, it's saying that that distance right there is 50 feet. Yours will most likely be a different image, a different distance depending on how big or how small you uh, specified that image to be when you first imported it. Uh, so actually this plan is a little bit larger than we need it to be, but let's go ahead and click on that. Go ahead and give us another left click on that 40 measurement. Now without clicking anything else, what you want to do is you want to look down here and SketchUp is saying you need to enter a value to resize the model. So let's enter a value in this area right there. So we don't need to click anything, you just start typing. So I'm going to click 40 feet, hit enter, it says do you want to resize the model? Yes, that's what we're doing. And there we have the new dimensions for our model. Well, let's, go ahead, let's go in here and measure that just to make sure that we scaled it correctly. Let's go here. Again, click there with your measure tool and go out here to 40. You don't need to click it a second time, you can, it'll give you an estimate. So we're right about at 40 feet. So we are scaled correctly. Okay, so that's the first step is you need to import. Now I'm just scrolling in and out here with my mouse, uh, with my mouse zoom. Let's say we have here a prairie plant maze. We want to we want to know how much mulch to bring in for that prairie plant maze. So let's m measure the entire area and then we'll get a, a depth volume of that. So to do that, essentially what you do in SketchUp is you draw you can draw a polygon or an area completely surrounding that part of your design. So let's go here using these, the draw tool, go from all four corners. This is nice because it's a nice square, uh, but you could do, or a nice rectangle, you could do all sorts of shapes and sizes using this draw tool. And then we want to snap those end pieces together. So you see, we want to snap those, and when they're successfully snapped and closed, then this area will appear. Now, go over here and select, get your select tool arrow, 
then when we select this area, you can see little dots highlighted. Then we right click on that area with it selected and go to Entity Info. Right there, that gives us our square, their square footage. So we're almost 3,000 square feet. Now you can take that square footage and convert it into volume if you know the depth of, of whatever material you're going to use. Let's say we're going to use six inches of mulch. That's half a foot, so we would multiply 3,000 in this case by 0.5 or half a foot, and that would give us our, our volume of mulch, which would be 1,500 uh, cubic feet of mulch. And then you can convert that into yards if you need to later by dividing it by 27. Uh, there's another way to calculate volume in, in SketchUp. Let's say what we can do is we can make this area, this is, this is a flat area, we can make this a volume. And to do that, we use this push-pull push pull tool in SketchUp with this area selected. Click on it, and then you can move your mouse up and down, and it will create a volume. If you notice down in the lower left-hand corner, that's going to give us the distance of how, how high up or how high down we are pulling or pushing or pulling this um, entity. Uh, but we want to pull it up a specified distance. We want to pull it up 0.5 feet. So I'm going to put 0.5 feet, hit enter, and then if you'll notice it, it pulled that up half a foot just to make sure. We'll measure it just to show you here. We'll measure that, and that's 0.5 feet. Okay. Now to get a volume calculation from this, we need to make all of these pieces, you know, right now we have each of these pieces is a separate individual piece. So these are all separate pieces. So we need to tell the computer that this is one piece and we want to measure the volume of all of it. So what we need to do is we need to select all of those pieces. So with your mouse somewhere on one of these pieces, on one of these uh, entity pieces, I want you to triple click on that, you can see here all the edges are highlighted in blue and then there, and the dots, these little blue dots are, are everywhere. So with that triple clicked, you then right click on one of the features and then go here to make a component. And you can name it whatever you want. Prairie Maze Mulch. And just accept the default, hit create. Now, when you click on that, let's you right click on that, go back to your entity info, and it will tell you the volume. In this case, what we estimated is of around 1,500 cubic feet. Okay, so that's how you can import a digital landscape design image. If you want to, if you have a scanned version of the design, um, you can take a picture uh, with a smartphone of the design. Um, there's lots of different ways of getting digital versions of your design. Then you can then import that into, into SketchUp, scale it, and then use it to measure area.